Hey there, welcome to another radio related video and this is uh, first in a part of um, a series of videos on how to operate your ICOM ICRD500 so if you have one of those receivers or maybe you're thinking of buying one uh, this series of videos will show you how to use your radio so this is the basic operations of the receiver so in basic operations, of course, the power button right here on the upper left to turn on and off your radio. And so um, keep in mind that if you want to listen to the full range of this receiver, you need two antennas because there's two separate antenna outputs. One for the um, 0 to 30 megahertz range, which is the short wave, medium wave, and long wave and a separate antenna for the VHF UHF range from 30 megahertz up to 2 gigahertz you'll have a separate antenna now once you've hooked up the antennas and it's working basic operations is really easy uh, if you want to listen to a frequency for example I want to listen to uh, uh, let's say I want to listen to a station um, low CBC Northern Quebec on shortwave here for example I know the frequency is 9625, so I'll just punch in 9.625 and press the enter key. It's easy as that. Then you'll need to set the good mode. Here you see I'm in CW. The modes are right here on the row. You just press AM. And on the lower left is the volume control, which is called AF gain, audio frequency gain. Now, keep in mind that each of the settings of the modes have different settings. So, for example, my AM mode that's right here, if I press on it again, it'll say wide. And I'll just do it again, wide, and you see here 12 kilohertz that was temporarily written there so be careful most of the time you want to be in the AM regular AM mode but there's AM wide 12 kilohertz AM narrow at 2.2 kilohertz uh, if you have lots of interference from uh, stations side by side you might want to try it but it does change the audio and if you press again you're back at the 5.5 kilohertz regular filter uh, same thing for FM, so if I want to listen, for example, to a local FM broadcast, I'll listen to my VPR on 107.9, 107.9, enter, and of course an FM station is in wide FM, so I'll press the wide FM mode here. Wide FM has only one setting, so you don't have to worry about clicking too much. Uh, it's part of the and of course, if you want to listen, for example, to a, I want to listen to a local NOAA weather broadcast or um, a lo the Burlington one, 162.4, enter. This is narrow FM, so I'll put FM. But keep in mind two settings here, there's narrow, it says, there's narrow and regular. Regular FM is what you'll use most of the time. Unless you have stations that are really, really close together, then you'll press the FM to put it in a narrower mode. So you'll uh, not hear the interference from a, a signal very close to the frequency. But most of the time, you'll stay in FM. Now, another feature that you might want to use if you're listening to local broadcasts is uh, the attenuator. For example, if I want to listen to a local AM station here, medium wave, 1.61, this station is very close to me and really is very strong. I can attenuate the signal with the 10 dB or 20 dB, or you can combine them to put 30 dB attenuation. So if a signal is really blasting away, you might want to use that. While you're using the radio, of course, you might want to tune around. So you've got the uh, tuning button here and it's related to a tuning step. So if you want to change the tuning step, two easy ways. The tuning step is always written here on the uh, right of uh, the uh, frequency. And here you've got TS, which means tuning step, up and down. If I go up, you'll see that I'm changing the tuning step, 50 hertz, 100 hertz, one kilohertz. So this tuning step for most operations, you'll see that this is the regular tuning steps. 
that you'll use most of the time. So if I want to change to one kilohertz to go to faster, for example, here, and here we go. So we tune around. And of course, you can take out the attenuation if you want. The second uh, option in the tuning step, if you're in a mode or special mode that you find that it would need a special tuning step to go through, you can actually program your own tuning step uh, up to, um, I believe it's from uh, something like 10 hertz to 200 kilohertz or something like that. So all you have to do is just press what you want. I want a tuning step of 1.5 kilohertz, for example. I'll press 1.5 and press the up or down key. And you see here it says 1.5 and there's a little P which means program. So this is a programmable tuning step which is pretty cool because not many radios let you actually program tuning steps and if I tune you see I'm in 1.5 kilohertz, kilohertz tuning steps now. So this is a very nice option for this radio because lots of radios don't have programmable tuning steps. And if you want to go back all you have to do is press the tuning step buttons until you're at the proper tuning step that you want to use. So that's pretty cool. Of course, um, the radio has other little features that you might need in certain communications. On shortwave, we don't usually use the squelch, but if you're in uh, VHF, UHF mode, you will want to use the squelch. So you just have to go, for example, I go to a frequency that I know there's transmissions, 451.0, put it in FM mode. Now, you don't want to hear that is in between transmissions. So what you do is you'll set the squelch setting. Basically, well, I'll go a little off, use a, use a, frequency there's nothing on where you hear the noise and basically you'll just turn it clockwise until it stops and you won't go further away because if you go too high in your squelch you'll miss out on weaker signals and then I'll go back to my frequency of 451 now what's cool now is I hear my transmissions but I don't hear the hiss of the uh, you know noise background noise which is much better um, so you can use the squelch function for that. So um, this is really the basic operations. You know how to tune your radio. You know the different modes uh, that you'll need to use. And um, play around your tuning steps, how to change them. And look at our other videos. We'll have lots of videos explaining how to use this uh, radio from A to Z. So uh, anything you want to learn, it's going to be online here on this channel. So if you enjoyed these videos, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed of the videos we put online. And if you have any comments or questions, hey, let us know. Uh, it's always a pleasure. And I'm really, really be happy to answer any questions you might have. So thanks for watching. 73s.